Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got our diamond packs from our pre-order of NHL 22. So we're going to rip those on both consoles. I've got it for Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, so we'll see what I get there. Also going to give you my team update that includes one of the craziest upgrades to an icon card I think that we've had all year long. So we're going to break down my team. I'm going to show you guys what I'm running as well as why I'm switched back my defense to left-handed on the left and right-handed on the right and all of that. Guys, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. So we're pushing for that third... Now, we're pushing for 100k. We're a ways away, but still. And give the video a like. All right, let's get into it. I can't wait to see what huge polls we get here. All right, 10 players over five rounds. All gold players rated 80 or higher. What are the odds I don't get anything higher than an 83? Here we go. All right, round one, pack one. We're underway. 82 Monahan, 80 Eric Johnson, 80 Corey Perry, and Olivier Adam. All right, sick. We'll go with... Uh, yeah, we'll go with there we go. All right, on to round two, pack number one. Looking for a diamond juicer pull. Josh Bailey, Shea Weber, Matt Dumba, and Dougie Hamilton. We have our first 83. Okay, like I said, I doubt we pull anything higher. Dougie Hamilton, welcome. Okay, next we've got Seth Jones, Ryan Suter, Pete Mavlich, and Max Pacioretty. Hmm, 82s, sick. Three packs have been fire so far. Round four, we've got Teddy Bluger. We've got... <laughs> uh, absolutely not. Okay, last round. The big juicer round. Here we go, boys. And we get Zach Cassian. Jack Eichel. Okay, an 85. All right. Okay, all right. I look stupid. All right, an 85. I mean, hey, it's not nothing. 85 overall pull in pack number one. So nothing really useful, to be honest with you. A couple thousand coins. On to pack number two. Let's go. I'm sure EA will bless us with some huge pulls here in our free packs. 82, John Klingberg. Okay, all right. Next up, round two, Adrian Kempe, Travis Dermott, Dustin Brown, every single Kings player. Okay, there we go. We'll just avoid them. Round number three, Claude Giroux, base, Matt Duchesne, Brayden... Okay, okay, yay. Mm, okay, trying to rope me back in. Okay, okay, huge pull there. I mean, hey, all right, we take those. Okay, well done, EA. Paul Stastny, Milan Lucic, Chris Letang, and Charlie Coyle. All right, Letang. Oh, not, not, I can't even be upset. Man, I was going to make a, a clickbait title of EA Gets Me Again, and they blessed me with... Uh, they blessed me with the 89 stamp kills. And then nothing really in that round. Okay, well, now uh, now let's go ahead and open up the Xbox packs and see if we can pull anything there. All right, on to the Xbox Series X cards. Honestly, I can't really use these because this is my Hot Wheels team, but we'll see. Maybe we need some, we'll need some coins and stuff to trade in eventually. So, all right, starting out with some banger 81 overalls. All right, we've got the 89 Stamkos in the bank. Don Scoy, Joe Thornton. Okay, Ilya Sorogan and Subban. Okay. All right, on to the next ones. Let's see what we got. We've got Valtteri Filpola, Sam Bennett, as well as Sharangovich and Debrusco. Okay, there we go. Round number three. Round number four, sorry. Nushushkin, Forsling. Pavelski and Pajo. All right, last round of pack number one on Xbox. Come on. Come on. You won't give me something sweet. Not even. Wow. What a sick last round. Okay, well, there you have it. Xbox get absolutely duped on here. All right, we got one more pack to go. And let's see what we end up with. Let's get a big... Yo, what about a master set pull? What about a nice MSP? Josh Anderson... Oh, Adam again. What are the odds of that? All right. So here we go. A couple of 81s. Next up, we've got Donskoy as well as Latang, Hoffman, and Bustad. All right. That sucks. Next up, round number four. Three. Sorry. Wow. Adam Fox. Okay. We need him for his X Factor. Corey Perry. And okay. So round number four now. As I've learned how to count. Peter Morazic. You got Casey to Smith. Tatar and Holpi. Okay, well, doesn't look like Xbox is going to bless us like PS4 or 5 did. Matias Yanmark. 
we've got Jordan Greenway, Comrie, and Duchesne again. So, all in all, I mean, pretty rough packs, but the 89 Team of the Week, Sam Coast, is a definite W there on PlayStation. All right, guys, I thought I'd also give you another team update as... They went ahead and made the strongest card, in my opinion, uh, for forward Mario Lemieux even better. For whatever reason, they decided from Tier 3 to Tier 4 that they gave him Thief and <laughs> Distributor as an option. Because prior to that, his, his options were Heart and Soul, Gladiator, and Well-Rounded, and he didn't even have a secondary synergy slot. Normally, EA is pretty on point at making sure that cards don't get a significant jump. But if you are hot rich and you've got Mario Lemieux, good lord. His speed now goes to 96. Thief makes all of his defensive abilities almost max. He's got 98 defensive awareness. Stick checking is up at 93. Face offs are at 93. And his slap shot power goes up to 95. I cannot wait to use this card in game today because it is wild to me that they actually gave him both of these because they're two of the more useful synergies. We also got a tier jump for Wayne Gretzky, which means... Obviously, his speed goes up because it hadn't in a little while. However, he just got Spark, which is a little bit more difficult to activate, and his other option was well-rounded. So, again, guys, the icons at the first of every month, they do go up another tier. The one I'm really wrestling with is Paul Coffey. Now, Paul Coffey is obviously an amazing card. You haven't, you see I haven't upgraded him to his 88. Now, his 89 does get a, a speed increase to 92, and he unlocks Gladiator as an option, which is a fine synergy, and to be honest, really helps out this card because he does lack in body checking, and he's not terribly big. Here's my issue. There's other 92 overall cards that I think are stronger than this. Like Rasmus Dalin, for example, I would rather have than this Paul Coffey card. The issue is, is that it's capped at 92, and Paul Coffey keeps going up month over month. But the issue is, is that January 1st, his speed is going to stay at 92. And then February 1st is when we'll see his speed hit 93, which still isn't all that crazy for a card that's only 6 foot. But everything else would go up by 1 so his shot will be in the mid, you know, 90s. It's just, I don't know why, I just, I'm wrestling with this one. Because I could sell him right now for like 250, 300k. But this one in particular right now with the landscape of the new master items is kind of difficult. Let me know if you think, if you agree, if you're a Paul Coffey owner and you're wrestling with the same kind of decision. Let me know in the comment section down below. Or if I'm just overthinking it and I should just keep it. You'll also notice here that I do put my defenseman on the strong side. Again, this is something I did in NHL 21. And a lot of the pro players did it as well. I've just come to notice that D to D one timers don't go in cleanly nearly as much as they did in prior games. Now, there's lots of tipping animations that happen in 22, but for the most part, just straight up D to D one timers don't. And the advantage that you get when your defensemen are on their correct side is A, they break the puck out much easier with the new passing, you know, passing model now being much more difficult to pass. If you're on your backhand, it's just much more difficult. They also intercept passes and play the body a lot better when they are on their strong side, their correct side. Left handed on the left, right handed on the right. The one thing I will also note is that it really forces you to cycle the puck, which I kind of like. It forces you to use behind the net well because you don't have that one-timer option. And not only that, when you collect the puck at the point, most opponents will just ignore the points because they see that you don't have a one-timer option. You can walk in and just rip a clap or far side, and they'll go in a lot if you have a really good shooting defenseman. So just something to try out, guys, if you are struggling on defense like I was. I just switched my defense, and it's helped them quite a bit. As you can see, I am still upgrading Jack Hughes, who, in my opinion, is one of the better ones. And then I went ahead and got Quentin Byfield because I think he's going to be an extremely good player in the real game. And I just kind of like his card. I mean, like I mentioned, there isn't a lot of top-end centers right now. And when I did my ranking video, three of the new master sets for the Under-22 event are three, in my opinion, of the best centermen in the game currently. When he gets up to 92, he's just extremely good. He will, I think, be replaced. You know, his size can't be, though. But nonetheless, I'm going to upgrade him all the way up and be my number one. I thought about doing Doc, but I just don't like Kirby Doc as a player that much. So Quentin Byfield is who I went with. And then I've got Jordan Kyru, who has just been nuts. If you're if you're someone that watches a lot of Blues games, you'll see that Kyru is going to be a 99 this year. He's absolutely wild. And then in net, I've got the 87 X Factor Carey Price. He has been phenomenal for me. I had a lot of players, uh, a lot of pro players as well, come to me and say that the X Factor Carey Price, for whatever reason, is just nuts. If you activate his post-to-post -post ability, he's just extremely good so um you know it's something that i'm gonna keep and just see goaltenders don't really matter and you know at least you have a master's that it looks cool other than that i will notice or i will note that i have pretty much all the x factors that i can possibly get activated on almost every card 
The one I will try and get is Gladiator, just because I think that some of the smaller guys will take advantage of having Gladiator on my cards, but that's just a work in progress. So guys, let me know what you're working on in your teams and something maybe you see in mine that you think I should change up. But let me know in the comment section down below, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.